the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, welcome to our eighth day of our Novena Masses in honor of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. And today also we celebrate the memorial of Saint Therese of Lisieux. And so as we gather and bring along with us all our intentions, let's first be mindful of our sins and once again ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, from my, my most grievous fault. There pray as a blessed Mary, a virgin, virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, sisters to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Lord our God, through the Blessed Virgin Mary, you revealed your Son to the world as the glory of Israel and the light of all nations. Granted as we follow his teaching and example, we may strengthen our faith in Christ and acknowledge him to be the one mediator and the Savior of the world, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations, shall walk by your light and kings by your shining radiance rise your eyes and look about they all gather and come to you your sons come from afar and your daughters in the arms of their nurses then you shall be radiant and at what you see your heart shall throbe and overflow for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you the wealth of the nations shall be brought to you caravans of camels shall fill you dromedaries from median in Ephah, all from sheba shall come bearing gold and frankincense frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the lord the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, give your judgment to the King, your justice to the Son of Kings, that he may govern your people with justice, your oppressed with right judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. That abundance may flourish in his days, great bounty till the moon to be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. May the kings of Tarshish and the islands bring tribute. The kings of Arabia and Seba offer gift. May all kings bow before him, all the nations serve him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he rescues the poor when they cry out, the oppressed who have no one to help. He shows pity to the needy and the poor and saves the lives of the poor. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Please stand. We have seen his star 
and the east and have come to adore the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of the King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn King of the Jews? We saw his star at his rising, and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, Herod inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. And they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then he would call the Magi secretly and ascertain from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, the Magi set out, and behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them, until it came and stopped over a place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. The Magi prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, the Magi departed for their country by another way. May their friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. On this eighth day of the Novena Masses, the Gospel talks about the birth of Jesus Christ. Tama-tama, start ng October, Christmas is coming. Naalala ko, meron po akong mga kasama nagbibilang. How many days more to go? I believe today is the 85th day. 85 days more to go before Christmas. Tama-tama, the story of the Gospel talks about the birth of Jesus. And what does this Gospel tell us as we commemorate the Feast of Our Lady? First of all, the Divine Intervention. So you will see from the story, truly, the divine intervention is working. Kitang kita po yung mahiwagang kamay. Mahiwagang kamay, yung kamay ng Diyos. Nakikiisa on the story of Jesus, especially on the birth of Jesus. Nandito si King Herod. Of course, he was so troubled. Alalang alala, takot na takot, balisang balisa. A new ruler is about to be born. And so, with his malice intention, the divine providence intervened, okay? intervened in the midst of these three kings, the Magi. Kaya mga kapatid, naniniwala din ako, when we talk about God, when we talk about God's plan, when we talk about God, God's intentions, Definitely, there will always be divine intervention. I don't know among you, kayo ba'y nakaranas ng ganun? Na kapag alam nyo, ginagawa mo yung isang bagay para sa Diyos, pag ginagawa mo yung isang bagay, ito'y alang-alang sa Diyos. Alam nyo, sa totoo lang, pumapasok talaga yung divine intervention. Pero kapag ginagawa mo yung isang bagay, personal interest mo lang, Kapakanan mo iniisip mo, gusto mong sumikat, gusto mong kumita, o kung ano-ano pa, minsan, hindi-hindi mo nararanasan yon. And worse, at the end of the day, even if you gain, at the end of the day, you feel so helpless, so tired, 
and meaningless. But and yet, look at the story today. Kapag ginagawa mo ang isang bagay para, para sa Diyos, ginagawa mo ang bagay para sa kapwa, at matino ang iyong pagkilos, magkitino ang iyong intensyon, magugulat ka na lang. Divine intervention will just come in. The second point that the Gospel is trying to tell us today is about the manner of the birth of Jesus. And what is that manner? Simple. What I mean simple, simply, it's all about simplicity. Ganyan ang Diyos. Ayaw niya nang magarbo. Ganyan ang Diyos. Pasimple lang. Mahinahon. Mapagkumbaba. And this could be a good reminder for all of us in this 8th day of Novena Masses. The foundation of being simple. The simplicity of life. Hindi kinakailangan sumikat. Hindi kinakailangan malaman ng iba. I know the society nowadays is being challenged with this kind of popularity. Simple popularity. With that simple cell phone of yours, you can become so popular eventually. But this is the challenge in today's gospel in our faith. It's all about living our faith with simplicity. And I just hope just like the life of Mama Mary, she was so simple throughout her life. And this could be a good model for all of us. Di bali ng simple. Di bali ng ordinaryo. Believe. The more God comes in simplicity and in ordinary. Divine intervention will come in if we remain simple if we remain ordinary, and if we remain humble. And that is the call in today's Gospel. If you want to really feel and to experience divine intervention, and so the only way for us is to keep being simple, ordinary, and humble. We all stand. Let us glorify our Savior who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. Let us ask him, May your mother intercede for us, Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary full of grace. Grant to all men and women who have been called to serve your people the joyful abundance of your grace, that they may become living witnesses of your love and their vocation of wholehearted service. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You thought Mary to seek the glory of God above all else. Grant that our government leader, leaders may through their sincere desire for the greater glory of God lead the people towards the real and integral progress of society and humanity. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary the uncorrupted ark of your dwelling place. Through her intercession, grant strength to the weak, comfort the sorrowing, pardon to sinners, salvation and peace to all, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Mary received God's word with an open heart. May we free ourselves from useless anxieties and learn to entrust our life under God's loving protection. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the example of our blessed mother continually inspire and guide us in our obligation to protect lives. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For those who are affected and afflicted by COVID-19, especially our health, our health care work providers and frontliners, the sick, and those who have died, may through the guidance and grace of the, of, of the Lord, the, the government, and the private agencies, swiftly find cure and solution to this, to this pandemic, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For our personal intentions and for the intentions of the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, we pray.
May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Now in silence, we offer to God once again all our needs and asking for the intercession of Our Lady, our Rosary of Manawa. All-powerful God, we rejoice in the protection of the Holy Virgin Mary. May her prayers help to free us from all evils here on earth and lead us to eternal joy in heaven. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord God, through the power of the Holy Spirit, consecrate these gifts, the offering of joyful hearts, on this memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let Him become the body and blood of Christ who was born of the Virgin Mother, to reveal your glory and to give his whole life for our salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For through the ministry of the Blessed Virgin, you draw the families of all peoples to faith in the Gospel. The shepherds, faith in your glory, and enlightened by choirs of angels, acknowledged Christ as the Savior and became the first fruits of the Church from the people of Israel. The wise men, inspired by grace and led by a shining star, entered a lowly house, found the child with his mother as the first fruits of Christ worship him as God, proclaim him as King, and acknowledge him as Redeemer. Through him, the angels of heaven offer their prayer of adoration as they welcome in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in their triumphant hymn of praise. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the lights of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Therese of Lisieux, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word that my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord our God, always show forth your mercy in us, that we who celebrate with steadfast love this memorial of the mother of your Son may be saved by his birth, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The schedule of the Masses on that day will be the following, 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and High Mass at 4 p.m. to be presided by His Excellency, Socrates B. Villegas Didi, Archbishop of Lingay and the Gupan, and to be followed by sending off of the pilgrim image to all the streets of the Poblacion of Manawag. Please light a candle outside your homes as the image of Apu Baket passes by. It will be concluded with a closing ceremony. See you all here or join us live stream via Facebook, YouTube, and Manawag Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. Thank you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. May God, through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in His great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with His blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the offer of life. Amen. May you, who have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick and all your religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, and candles, and all religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.